time for another broadcast of Brown County Sports on BC Hornet Sports. BC Hornet Sports brings to you Brown County Little League Baseball and Softball. High school and junior high softball, baseball, volleyball, football, and basketball. These broadcasts would not be possible without the support of our local sponsors. Let the sponsors know how much you appreciate them bringing the broadcast to you. Proceeds from the advertising and donations help to pay the expenses and help Hope Through Faith Ministries to help local sports programs and activities bring speakers to speak to our Brown County students as well as other programs such as Critical Life Seminars and much more. We hope you enjoy the broadcast on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. Good afternoon. Welcome to BC Hornet Sports. Uh, it's Steve Surratt alongside here. Uh, North Green and Brown County, both in softball and baseball. I'll have the baseball action for you on this channel. At least I'll have the softball action on Channel 2 for you on our YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube, you can pick either softball or baseball or hop back and forth. We'll try to keep you up to date of what's going on with each of the games uh, out there today. Today they'll play the North Green Spartans. Uh, that will be a 430 contest. We'll get started then. And uh, so uh, we're glad that you're on board uh, to be a part of the Scranton Heating and Cooling pregame. With that, we'll take a station break. We'll be back after these messages. Disasters can strike when you least expect it, but that doesn't mean you can't be prepared. At Service Master Restore, we are pre-loss planning services that will help your business stay better prepared for the unexpected. With over 65 years of industry experience, Service Master Restore has the experience and know-how to provide the peace of mind you need to make sure your business stays protected. Call Service Master Restore today for more information on our pre-loss planning services and get the help you deserve now. Land Guy's Toby Stay's relentless pursuit is to use his local expertise to help connect those with a shared passion for land. If you're in the market to sell, give him a call at 217-257-6096. Additionally, if you're in the market to buy, you can find his current listings by scanning the QR code on the screen or following him on Facebook at Toby Stay Land Broker or on Instagram at Toby Stay. He looks forward to connecting with you and providing a smooth process to your transaction. Larry Denning Counting has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Down and Counting, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400. Mount Sterling Foods offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market, offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page, or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. 
I have been interested in truck driving my whole life. I've been fascinated with the big rig since I was a kid. But after college, I got into business on the marketing side of things, kind of shelved the dream. 30 years later, I quit my job, signed up for truck driving school. It was exciting from the get-go. Dot recruited out of my truck driving school. The job was everything I was hoping it would be, and then some. My weeks absolutely fly by. When my life needed fulfillment, I took the wheel. Culbertson Memorial Hospital is more than just an emergency center for acute illnesses and trauma. From imaging and lab services to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, our team of providers is equipped to treat a wide variety of conditions in a convenient, local setting, so getting the outpatient care you need doesn't require a long trip out of town. Get quality care from the team that knows you best at Culbertson Memorial Hospital. Learn more at hospital.com. Los Rancheros Restaurant in Mount Sterling is your destination for authentic Mexican food. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Come and enjoy their daily specials on food and drink. Having a party? Check out Los Rancheros for catering your next event or gathering. Los Rancheros Authentic Mexican Restaurant, 408 Quincy Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-7800. As a student at St. Mary's School, your child will receive strong educational foundation embedded with Christian values. All students, kindergarten through eighth grade, have individual iPads along with personalized attention with a small class size. St. Mary's also offers Fulham half-day pre-K, affordable tuition, a family atmosphere, and exceptional teachers. Register your child today by calling Melissa at St. Mary's School at 217-773-2825. Napa know-how. Hello, Earl Flack for your locally owned McKay Nap Auto Parts store. Summer bodies, summer hot. Oh, what the heck? I'm just talking about summer savings. We've got turtle wax on sale. $6.49 for polishing compound. Meguiar's hot rims and all-wheel tire cleaner. Hot. $6.99 for a bottle. Get the Meguiar's line in our store. Wax on, wax off. That's right. Detail cloths on sale. Got scrubs, got towels, got all the good stuff to keep that car clean. Get the good stuff with Napa Know-how and thank you for your business. Timewell Drainage Products is a locally owned family company that has provided incredible employment opportunities in our area for over 40 years. Our constantly growing company is always looking for dynamic individuals who want to be part of an innovative, fast-paced team. To join our team, visit us online at timewellpipe.com. Timewell Drainage Products, a proud community employer since 1982. The Brown County State Bank is proud to support all the Brown County Hornets athletic programs. In fact, we're the only bank offering the Hornet debit card. Every time the card is used at a point of sale, a portion of the proceeds are contributed to the Brown County School. It's our part of our commitment to making them the best they can be. Contact the Brown County State Bank today to get your Hornet debit card at 773-3327. Brown County State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports and the Scranton Heating and Cooling pregame show brought to you by the Comfortman and Scranton Heating and Cooling. You know they do more than heating and cooling. They do solar also. This spring would be a good time to do a couple of things. Number one, have them out and see what solar can do for you and then have them come do maintenance work before we need to start with the air conditioning uh, and get the coils cleaned out and the filters changed and those things. You can get a service agreement with them. Give Scranton's a call at 217-773-2626. It's time for the keys to the game brought to you by Blessing Health Systems. Blessing Mount Sterling Clinic keeps you close to home for family medicine care at 521 East Main Street. Same day appointments are available. Please call 217-773-7105 for an appointment. That's 217-773-7105. And so with that, the keys to the game, we make it pretty simple here from the pitching mound. Can't, do, uh, can't have walks from the pitcher because uh, walks lead to runs. 
and then from the field can't make errors because errors lead to runs. And errors come in a lot of different forms, not just missing the ball, but missing the cutoff man or throwing to the wrong base. Doing those things can get a man another base closer, and that's an error and causes them to be in scoring position. So uh, then the final thing is put the bat on the ball. Uh, all kinds of things can happen when you do that, and so put that bat on the ball. Be ready to swing uh, when you get your pitch or the pitch is in the strike zone. So with that, those are our keys to game brought to you by Blessing Health Systems. If it's a possible strain, sprain, or fracture, head to the Blessing uh, Orthopedic Walk-In Clinic, 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, at the Blessing Health Center, 4800 Main in Quincy. No appointment needed. With that, we'll take a station break. We'll be back after these messages. Local, reliable broadband. You must be talking about CASCOM. I'm Casey French, and we provide amazing support for home and businesses. Internet, television, and phone. We have technicians in your area at all times, and you can actually talk to a local customer service representative. We know our area, and we know our customers. Get to know us. Call CASCOM today at 1-800-252-1799. CASCOM at 1-800-252-1799. Brown County Accounting and Tax recently opened in Mount Sterling. The team brings over 30 years of experience and is ready to advise on taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. We are ready to meet with you with no obligation to discuss your tax saving strategy and have already helped many in the area. Contact us today at 217-770-8082. We are excited to be part of the community and are looking forward to helping you. LM Concrete Construction takes pride in providing quality concrete work to Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas. Specializing in flat work, sidewalks, residential, new buildings, or add-ons. Commercial and decorative concrete. Call Lorenzo Martinez for all your concrete needs at 779-279-4413. That's 779-279-4413. Hi, this is Brad Casting at Ray Insurance Agency here in Mount Sterling. We're located at 128 West Main Street. You can reach us at 217-773-3851. You may know that we are specialists in farm insurance as well as crop insurance and crop hail. But what you might not know is that we can quote and give you competitive quotes on your home, your auto, and your commercial business. So please feel free to give us a call at 217-773-3851 for all your insurance needs. Thinking about replacing a furnace or building a home? Confused by the options? Contact the Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling about GeoComfort Geothermal Systems. Harness the energy stored in the earth to provide your heating and cooling. Geothermal is extremely efficient, safe, and environmentally friendly. It could save you up to 70% on your heating and cooling bills. Call The Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling at 217-773-2626 to discover the best option for your home. Orthopedics is probably one of the best specialties where you see something that's happened that's ugly and you get to see such a change when you fix them. My passion is getting people back to their regular activities of life. That's the reason why I went into orthopedics this job has been so satisfying. It is so much fun to do what I do. You get to help a lot of people and it's definitely one of the things that give me great satisfaction. Yingling and Nissan Insurance. Stop in and talk to one of our agents today about your insurance needs. We really appreciate the support of the community in our business for the last 40 some years. Come and see us if you have questions on, on your policy with us, or if you want to quote and you're with someone else now, we'd be happy to work with you. If Yingling and this agency a call at 217-773-3397. Go on it! When you are ready to move to a new home or refinance the one you are in, 
Farmer State Bank and Trust Company in Mount Sterling will make sure the process moves along smoothly with competitive rates, superior service, and great solutions that fit your lifestyle and budget. Call us today and get everything you need to get moving. Farmer State Bank and Trust Company of Mount Sterling. Locally owned, locally operated, locally dedicated. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back with you on BC Warner Sports and the East Grand Heating and Cooling Pregame Show. Call the Comfort Man at 217-773-2626. Steve Surratt with you here with the baseball action. North Green and Brown County coming into this contest today. And uh, I'll go back over here see if I can get some stats for you for uh, North Green uh, as they come in with uh, things today. And... Uh, Let's see, where is that at? North Green Spartans, there they are. They are 3-6 and six, uh, so far this year. And uh, let's talk about the starting lineups brought to you by Dot Transportation. If you're looking for a driving job, whether it be full-time, part-time, touch or no-touch freight, uh, local, regional, nationwide, uh, give, check out, go to Drive for DTI, driveforDTI.com, driveforDTI.com. Check out the jobs that they have available for you uh, as a truck driver, many out there for that. So this is what the starting lineups look like for the visiting North Green Spartans. Um, they'll be, of course, batting first. Leading off will be Ethan Clark, and he'll be uh, the catcher today. Brody Berry will be at second base and bat second. Garrett Hazelwonder will be the third baseman, bat third. Jacob Hensey will be the pitcher, and he'll be on the mound today and bat fourth. Fifth place hitter will be Peyton Henlon. In line, and he'll be at the shortstop. Brady Barfield will be your sixth place hitter. He'll be in center field. Um, Bowen Berry will be the first baseman, and he'll bat seventh. Your eighth place hitter will be Preston Bradford. He'll be in the left field. Caleb Williams will be your DH today, and he'll be DHing for Cyrus Shahan, the right fielder. Brown County's defense looks like this. Meyer Maxwell is on the mound today. Behind the plate, of course, is Jack Buss. First place, Colin Dieterle. Then at second base, Matt Boylan. Third base, uh, Vlad Rabarchek. Shortstop is Maverick Henry. Your left fielder is Wyant Cassing, Jack Sefton in center field. Your right field is Eli Staten, and DHing today will be Dylan Rice. And that is your DOT transportation starting lineups. Go to driveforDOT.com again to find a driving job or check out their driving school if you thought about getting your CDL and uh, driving for Fortune 500 company. Uh, go to drivefordot.com. With that, we'll take a station break. We'll be back after these messages. When I started at Dot, I realized I could make a career out of this. It's just amazing the people you get to interact with when you get here. It's a family atmosphere for me. One of my main jobs is talking to people, trying to understand what's going on, uh, where they're at in life, what, what they're needing from me to get their job done. I've met so many people, and uh, it's been a real blessing to be a part of all that. Big company in a small town, that's a fact. When my life needed growth, I chose DOT, and I never left. Just like a coach preparing their team for the new season, Doug and Darren Henry, your ASE certified technicians at Henry Automotive, want to make sure your vehicle is ready for whatever season is ahead. Henry Automotive provides dealership quality auto repair and service at hometown prices. Henry Automotive is located 1157 690th East Street in Mount Sterling. Just turn north at the KC Hall onto Damon Road, drive 1.8 miles and look for the big blue and yellow sign, or call Henry Automotive at 773 90 66. Hey, this is Lance Grady with L. Grady Realty, Brown County's premier residential and commercial real estate brokerage. If you're in the market to buy, sell, or rent, we would love to work with you. You can check us out on the internet at www.lgradyrealty.com, find us on Facebook, or call or text me personally anytime at 217-491-0812. L. Grady Realty, local brokers, local office, local expertise. We are Brown County's leading residential real estate brokerage. 
Main Street Repair and Terry Ham have the reputation of being the best at front end alignments in the area. With 20 years of experience, Terry is the person that customers and auto repair professionals refer their friends and customers to. But alignments are not the only thing that they do at the Main Street Repair. They repair steering and suspension issues, install leveling and lift kits, repair and replace brakes and tires, do oil changes, as well as minor engine and miscellaneous repairs. Main Street Repair at 216 West Main Street in Mount Sterling. Call for your appointment today at 217-773-3848. Once again, that's 217-773-3848. This is Tracy Hendricker with the Hendricker Funeral Home in Mount Sterling. For the past 50 years, our family has committed to providing the finest facilities and compassionate services to our community. We pledge to continue to assist the families we serve as though they were our own. We also want to wish the best of luck to all those competing on the playing field or striving for excellence in the classroom. You all make Hornet Nation so very proud. And remember, go Hornets! When it comes to your money, local is better. Farmers National Bank of Griggsville is here in the heart of the community. Working where we live, we make sensible loans to our friends and neighbors so that we can help our community grow. Stop by and see our friendly staff and see what we can do to meet your financial goals. Located in Griggsville, Pittsfield, and Mount Sterling. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Maintaining your lawn can be a never-ending battle, but Bemis Lawn Service with their state-of-the-art equipment and skilled team of lawn experts are ready to take on any job you need completed for your lawn, such as lawn maintenance, fertilization, turf weed control, grub control, driveway weed control, overseeding, and shrub trimming. Call Aaron at 217-653-0198 or Scott at 217-653-0197. Bemis Lawn Service, they've got an eye for all things green. Go Hornets! Cassing Lumber Company in Mount Sterling is celebrating 50 years in business. We are your one-stop shop for all the supplies you need for your next home improvement project. Top quality lumber, building materials, and paint will give your home the freshness it deserves. We also offer a unique gift shop with new items every season for your home decor. Come visit us in Mount Sterling and always think Cassing Lumber. We'll all be glad you did. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more as we bring you baseball and softball today. I've got the baseball action for you here. Lisa has also on our YouTube channel the softball for you. And uh, as we get ready to go here, Brown County's taking infield, and we should be going very shortly here. Keys to the game again brought to you by Blessing Hill Systems. They're at 521 East Main Street right across the street from us. Same day appointments needed if you can give them a call at 217-773-7105. And then also, uh, we're going to do the starting lines brought to you by Dot Transportation. Go to driveforDot.com and find the driving job made just for you. That's driveforDot.com. And so we're here. It's a windy day. Sun, sh sun is out, but the wind is blowing, oh, every bit of 20 miles an hour today. And it's blowing out. So it's going to be a hitter's day uh, for the hitters as far as getting the ball up in the air. If they can get some loft on it, it may get out of here. And so with that keys, pitchers need to not walk people. Those turn into runs. They need to be smart, get ahead of the batters, and put them away. Then from the fielding, can't make errors. Errors are going to cost you runs, and errors come in lots of different forms, just not making a bad throw or missing a ball, ground ball to you or a pop fly. It can be thrown to the wrong base uh, and allowing that runner to move up. Then lastly, as a batter, let's hit, put the bat on the ball, and let's play some smart baseball, hit your pitch, and see what you can do out there cause to happen with that. So with that, we're going to take another or go to the starting lineups. We'll do that for you. Let's take a look at, again for the uh, uh, North Green Spartans. They're three and six on the year. I don't have any other stats access other than that. Ethan Clark uh, will lead off and play behind the plate. Brody Berry will be at second base, bat second. Garrett Hazelwander will be your third baseman. Bat third, fourth place will be Jacob Hinsey, and he'll be on the mound today. Peyton Henline will be your shortstop. He'll bat fifth, your sixth place hitter. Brady 
uh, Barfield, he'll be in center field. Bowen Berry will be the first baseman and bat seventh, your eighth place hitter. Preston Bradford, and he'll be in left field. Caleb Williams will be the D8 today, bat ninth. And Cyrus Shahan will be the person that he's hitting for, and he'll be in right field. For the Brown County side, it looks like this on the mound today. Meyer Maxwell behind the plate. Jack Buss at first base. Dot Colin Dieterle, second base. Matt Boylan, third base. Vlad Rabarchek. And at shortstop, Maverick in your right fielder will be Wyant Cassing, center field, Jack Sefton. And your right fielder today will be Eli Staten. And then DHing today will be Dylan Rice. And so we'll give you their averages and some of the stats for them as they come to the plate today. But uh, where officials are here, they're having the meeting at the mound. Brown County to take a short um uh, Infield, I can tell you that uh, um, Matt Olson is behind the plate and doing those duties today. And uh, that's as far as I'm going to get on that because I didn't pull the document out ahead of time uh, for that. But hope uh, everything's going good for you and, and your day. With that, we'll take another sh short station break. We'll be back for the start of the game after this. In Brown County, you know how much it means to have neighbors you can count on. Like the one who mowed your lawn and trimmed that week you were sick? Well, here's another good neighbor you can count on. State Farm Agent Carolyn Wright. Carolyn and her team are here to help life go right when you combine your home and auto insurance, which can save you money and time. So combine home and auto and start the savings rolling. Call State Farm Agent Carolyn Wright at 217-773-4170 today. KLC Inc. They are an apparel shop that specializes in screen printing, embroidery, custom and team apparel, promotional products, fundraising items, home decor, and personalization of almost anything. They strive to make the customer number one and get the customer the professional results that they are looking for. KLC Inc. at 509 Pittsfield Road or call them at 217-773-9090. KLC Inc. You think it, we ink it. All About Dance & More LLC is celebrating Season 17 by providing more ways for students to perform, learn choreography, and grow bold relationships together. All classes highlight traditional dance techniques, age-appropriate terms, and unique choreography. Come explore the magic of AADM with recreational classes and competitive team options. Wishing all BC Hornets luck this year. AllAboutDanceAndMore.com A collision with your vehicle can be stressful on its own. You don't need more stress dealing with the Auto Body Shop. Mowen Auto Body and owners Chuck and Brandy Mowen can help take the stress out of the process. Chuck brings over 24 years in the Auto Body business and is iCar certified. Mowen Auto Body, 149 Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Call 217-773-2127. Mowen Auto Body, the quality of yesterday with the knowledge of today, the right choice in collision repair. Central Illinois Home Inspection, the first name you should think of when buying a new home. Specializing in general home inspections, mold inspections, termite inspections, sewer scopes, radon testing, and drone photography. And serving the surrounding area since 2009, licensed and insured. Give them a call today at 217-622-6788. That's 217-622-6788. Back with you on BC Warner Sports, the Englandness in top three for this inning will be Ethan Clark, Brody Berry, and Garrett Hazelwonder for uh, North Green. First pitch from Maxwell is a ball. And I may have to interrupt here in a, in a second. Lisa's scoreboard is not showing up on the air. Left-handed batter, second pitch to him was a ball also. Next pitch, strike call, makes it a 2-1. Here comes the 2-1 pitch from Maxwell. He checks and throws. 
Ball. That'll make it 3-1. Three, three balls, one strike. Pitch. Strike called. That'll make it 3-2. Three, three balls, two strikes. I got to stop for a second here. Showing up at the bottom of your screen. Does it? Does that have a box? Can you see a square around it or something? Okay, but now it's showing up. What'd you do different? Okay, all right, that's what I needed. All right, thank you. Bye. We strike out. Did we? All right, the first pitter, batter struck out. Next batter is Brody Berry, and uh, he is uh, up to the plate. And I try to get my phone back up here. And so as we get going here, swing and a miss. Strike two makes it one and two. One ball, two strikes. Maxwell looks in, and here's the pitch. Ground ball. He pits, snags it, but it gets past him, and it's going to be out at first. Nice throw. I thought that was going to be late. One, three on the out for the second out of this contest. And so with that, And the next batter will be a third batter will be Garrett Hazelwonder. Inside for a ball. Here's the wind by Maxwell in the pitch. A little low. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch. Ball outside. Three balls, no strikes. Or no, they call that a strike. Makes it 2-1. Next pitch from Maxwell. Here comes a 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Here's the wind, the pitch from Maxwell. Kurt Ball strike three, two strikeouts in the first inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody on base. As we get ready for the bottom of the first, it's nothing uh, for North Green and Brown County coming about. We'll be back. The Mount Sterling Savings Center, a customer-owned savings bank offering online banking from your computer or mobile phone, allowing you access to your account on your schedule. The Mount Sterling Savings Center is a proud supporter of Brown County Athletics. Mount Sterling Savings Center, conveniently located at 201 West Main, the intersections of Routes 24 and 99, is a branch of the Beardstown Savings located at 301 South Main. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. When it comes to becoming a better version of you, there's no place to start like the Y. The Mount Sterling Community Center YMCA offers activities for the whole family. From youth sports to summer day camp, we have something for all ages. Kickstart your new healthy routine with our group exercise classes or work out in our fitness center, complete with a full line of cardio and weight equipment. Our indoor rubberized track is perfect for both running and walking, while our full-size gymnasium offers space for pickup basketball games and volleyball leagues. On-site childcare is available while you work out for children as young as six weeks. We hope you'll join us at the Mount Sterling YMCA. Your future self and family will thank you. A rustic garden ships home and garden accents coast to coast, right from its location in Mount Sterling. The folks there customize each sale by painting unique and vintage colors to match the look of the home or flower garden. They also do wrought iron fencing. How long does that last? 100 years? 200 years? Who knows how long wrought iron fencing will last? Shop www.arusticgarden.com and get it shipped directly to your front door. 
Have you ever thought about opening the door to a new truck driving career? If so, BNN Trucking is looking for you. At BNN Trucking, we offer competitive pay, healthcare, 401k, paid vacation, and holiday pay. BNN Trucking is currently looking for over the road, regional, and home every night delivery specialists. BNN Trucking runs the latest in modern equipment. For full details, please visit bnntrucking.net or call 217-289-3555. Hi, I'm Heather Henry, owner and instructor at Heather's Tumble and Tap in Mount Sterling, where we have been teaching dance to the children of Brown County and the surrounding areas since 1995. We offer classes in tap, jazz, palm, tumbling, and offer an all-boys tumbling class for all those future Hornet athletes. At Heather's Tumble and Tap, we focus on fun, friends, and the fundamentals of dance in a non-competitive atmosphere. Follow us on Facebook to stay up to date on upcoming classes and events. Go Hornets! Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. Yingling and this in top three will be Dieter Lee, Maverick Henry, and Matt Boylan. Pitch, high inside. Here's the wind and the pitch. Ball. That'll be ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Dieterly steps back in. He's ready on the mound. Hensi is ready. Here's the wind and the pitch from Hensi. Strike called. Two balls, one strike. Here's the wind from Hensey. Here's the pitch. Ground ball foul. That'll make it 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Two Dieterly. Dieterly steps back in. There's Hensey's pitch. Ground ball pass the third baseman. It's a fair ball. That's going to be extra bases for Dieterly as he rounds first and is headed into second base. And he'll be into second, standing up with a ground, with a double to start this game out. That'll put Maverick Henry up with the possibility of uh, putting, bringing a run in, a base hit. Could score Dieterly from second base. Maverick Henry coming in 317 batting average and 13 RBIs on the year. Second baseman going to hold Dieterly fairly close. He's got a good lead of about 10 or about 12 to 15 feet out there. The stretch. And he pitch off, steps off. Get Hensy. Worried early about the runners. Here's his stretch. And the pitch. Ball low. Here's Hensy stretch. The 1-0 pitch coming. Swing and a miss by Maverick Henry. Makes it a 1-1. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. Strike called, one and two. One ball, two strikes. Still here, Jack Buss in the dugout today. It's not an open dugout like yesterday. But you can still hear him down there. Ground ball to third. Hazel Wonder gets the ball, fields it, throws over to first. Missed by the first baseman. Henry's going to take off to second base. Dieterly's going to stop at third. And that's going to be an error on the first baseman. That'll move him to second. As Henry gets on with an error by the first baseman. Very catchable ball there. Here's the stretch by Hensey and the pitch. Ball in the dirt. And you can count that Dieterly is going to be aggressive down there at third base. 
He was so aggressive the other day, he was taken off, and the pitcher turned and threw to second, and then they got him at third. A stretch, and the pitch. Ground ball, past the shortstop. That's going to be a base hit, and two RBIs for Matt Boylan. That'll put him up to 11 on the year. He had nine coming in, and he gets a single. And two RBIs. That'll make that 279 batting average go up. That'll put him at first base and bring up Vlad Rabarchek. 276 hitter with seven RBIs on the year. Here's the stretch. Hits his pitch. The runner going. Boylan's down there safely with a stolen base. That was a ball to start with. Sun goes down and gets a little cool out here. More uh, hoods and stuff up today than we've had in the last few days. Here's the pitch. Strike called. This is our sixth game of the week that we're doing on BC Hornet Sports. Hopefully we'll have number seven for you tomorrow against Havana. The game time start is four o'clock on that. The pitch, ground ball back up the middle, shortstop Hinline throws it away at first base. That's going to be an error on the shortstop. And Ravarchek gets on, and a run comes in. And the run comes in on the error, and so no RBI. Coach going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout. It is two to nothing, or three to nothing, Brown County. We'll be back. The Brown County Animal Rescue is a foster based rescue in Mount Sterling, Illinois. We have multiple families in the community who step forward and take care of our animals for us until we can find the permanent home that's perfect for them. We have multiple community programs, including a trap neuter release program, low cost span neuter transport, foster and adoption programs, as well as our blessing box. Brown County Animal Rescue is here to support our community and improve animal welfare. Learn more at bcanimalrescue.com. Looking for a place to gather? Meet me at the library. Need free access to computers and Wi-Fi? Meet me at the library. What about a resource for schools and students? Meet me at the library. How about a space designed just for kids? Meet, Meet me at the library. Where can all of Brown County go for books, history, entertainment, and community? Well, meet me at the library. Meet me at the library. Meet me at the library. Back with you after conference on the mound. Hensey still in the ball game. Brown County up three to nothing. Runner down at second base. Ball in the dirt. Ball one as they pitch to Maxwell. The pitcher today comes in with a 162 average. Four RBIs on the year. Here's the stretch, and the pitch, ball, Hensey checks the runner, Rivar check down second base, here's the pitch, popped up, foul, out of play, that'll make it two balls, one strike. Got under that just a little bit. Stretch by Hensey. There's the pitch. In the dirt, nice block by the catcher Clark. Three balls, one strike. Nothing to nothing over on the girls' side of things. Looks like they're still in the first. Pitch, ball four. That'll bring up Jack Buss, a 206 hitter, seven RBIs on the year. And it suddenly gets quieter. Looks like uh, Henry's going to run for Maxwell, as in 
Micah Henry. Everybody's set now. Good lead by Micah Henry. Decent lead down at second by Rabarchek. He'll lengthen that out. So will Henry. Off the end of the bat. Back to Hensey. Hensey fumbles the ball. He's got to go to first now. And the first baseman fumbles it. And that's going to be an error on the first baseman. And so now we've got runners all the way around. Bases loaded for Dylan Rice. 308 hitter. Dylan has come on the last few ball games and putting the bat on the ball pretty well. Here's the pitch. Ground ball past the third baseman. That's going to be a base hit. It's going to be at least two RBIs for the Chili Dog. As Micah Henry crosses the plate, short time out there for him. Base hit and a couple RBIs for the Chili Dog. That'll make it a five to nothing ball game here in the first. Runners at first and second. Looks like Fullerton running for bus. Here's the pitch. Strike called on the outside corner to Jack Sefton. Sefton in a 276 hitter. Six RBIs on the year. He's hitting that at eight spot. First, nobody down. Ball outside. That's going to be a 1 1 count. And it looks like they've had a score over on the other diamond. I think Brown County's up to bat. They should be the bottom of the first. Ground ball foul. Makes it one and two. I'm going to switch over to their feed. And check on the Brown County girls to see what they're doing. It looks like it's a four to nothing ball game. And apparently Lisa's scoreboard is not working again. First out as he strikes out, I believe, Sefton. That'll bring up Wayne Cassing, the number nine hitter. I may have to go over and see what's going on with Lisa's scoreboard at the end of this inning. Chili Dog gets out of the way of the ball. They go to second for the force out. So fielder's choice for Cassing. He'll end up at first, and Rice will be out for six. That'll bring Dieterle up back in the first spot again. Pitch, strike one. Next pitch, all low. Five to nothing contest here. Pitch. There goes the runner casting down to second base. And that'll make it second and third. Fullerton running for bus. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss by Dieterle. 
And that'll be a strikeout in the third out. We'll be back with this. We're just going to leave the uh, screen up with no sound as we go check on what's going on softball. Back with you as we went over to get her kind of straightened out and going. And it looks like the first batter, Hensi, popped out the second base. Thank you, Bob. Hensi, the batter, but now Henline up. Second batter in this inning. Barfield on deck. Ball low. That'll be ball three. Seven to nothing over on the other diamond. The girls down seven to nothing in the top of the first. Strike called three one. Bases are loaded over there. That will probably be a short ball game there today. The pitch, swing and a miss. Strike two. Got it from a three zero up to a full count now. Fouled off. He stays alive. Eight to nothing on the girls now. Here's the wine. The pitch. Curveball. Strike three. Got him looking. That'll be the third strikeout from Meyer Maxwell on the day. That'll bring up Bradley Barfield, the center fielder. Sun came back out for us. Here's the pitch. Ball inside. Bowen Berry on deck. Two outs here in the, in the top half of the second inning. I'll get that changed now that I'm back. Here's the pitch. 
Curve ball for a strike. Nice curve ball. One ball, two strikes. See if he can get this batter out. Here's the pitch outside. 2-2. Two, two. Tried to get him go after a low outside pitch. The wind and the pitch. Curve ball popped up. It's in the infield. It's going to float out. The second baseman Boylan coming in. Nobody covering second base. And a runner. That's going to be, unfortunately, E4. And because everybody converged on the ball, he ends up at second base. That'll bring up Bowen Berry with a runner down at second base. Here's the pitch. And I saw Wayne Cassing do it yesterday. Probably Jack Sefton or one of the outfielders should have come in and covered second base there with the ball being in the infield when, once it's not occupied. But everybody thought he was going to catch the ball, and that's what happens when you take for granted that a ball is going to be caught. With a wind blowing like today, you don't count on any ball being caught. Pitch is 1-1 one, one on the batter, Bowen Berry, the number seven hitter in this lineup. Here's the pitch. Ball. Left-handed hitter in Berry. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike. 2-2. Two, two. Two balls, two strikes. Stretch. And the pitch. Ball in the dirt. Runners going to third. Throw to third in time. Get No, it gets there. Stolen base. Three two count on the batter, Barry. Maxwell needs to get out of this jam. Ball inside. That's ball four. The runners at first and third, and I'm pretty sure Barry's going to take off early on this pitch. Brown County may throw to second with two outs in a five to nothing lead here in this contest. That'll bring up Preston Bradford. Pitch. Runner stays at first, strike one. Here's the stretch in the pitch. Ball. 1-1 one, one count. 10 to nothing over on the other field. North Green still batting top of the first. Here's the pitch. Curve ball missed or swung at and missed. 1-2. There's the wind the pitch. Curve ball just misses. Makes it a 2-2 count. Two balls, two strikes. Runners first and third. Two outs. Here's the pitch. Ball gets away. That's going to make it a full count. This is the second full count in a row that Myers run. Stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Fourth strikeout in the ball game for Maxwell. No runs on no hits. One air and two left on base. As we head to the bottom half of the second, it's Brown County 5, 
and North Green nothing. The Joel Oliver Memorial Pool needs an update because if we don't, in five or 10 years, it won't be here. I got involved with the pool when I was eight years old and I went door to door asking for donations to help build the pool. Now I get to bring my daughter here. It's just awesome to be able to have that. 30 plus years ago, the community came together to build what we have today. And we would really like to keep that going for another 30 years for the next generation to enjoy. Mount Sterling Foods offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market, offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page, or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. Service Master Restore provides something very important to insurance carriers, and it's something no other disaster restoration company can match. It's genuine partnership. Service Master Restore should be your preferred provider for several important reasons. Policyholders report higher satisfaction when the insurer recommends a restoration company. Service Master Restore has the highest customer satisfaction rating among all major restoration companies. High customer satisfaction is proven to result in greater customer retention. We care, we serve, we deliver. We do the right thing. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. Your Yingling and Nissan top three for this inning will be Maverick Henry, Matt Boylan, and Rabarchek. I'm going to do something I have never done before is I'm not going to use up that second column. Pitch low for ball two. Or maybe I'm better. Two balls, no strikes from Hensey. Hensey, next pitch is a ball, ball three. Girls score 11 to nothing as they head to the bottom of the first inning. Here's the wind, the pitch. Strike. Here's the wind and the pitch. Down left field line. The wind kept that one in. Henry's looking to go into second base with a stand-up double. Last time he got up on an error. And this time he gets a double. That'll bring up Matt Boylan. Matt got a base hit and two RBI. Stole the base and scored in the last inning. That 279 average went up, and his RBIs went up to 11. No duck on the pond for him. Ball low. Here's the stretch. Checks the runner at second base. Henry's back. Pitch, ball low. Here's the next pitch. Hensey's pitch, low for a ball. That'll be three balls, no strikes to Matt Boylan. Here's the stretch. And the pitch. Ball low, gets away. Runners, Henry's going to go over to third base on the wild pitch. Base on balls. That'll bring up a Vlad Rabarchek. He got on and scored the last time up. Um, got on with an error by the shortstop, an error on the throw. Here's the stretch. And the pitch, the runner goes. Ball hit deep into center field. That's going to carry over the head. That's going to be a couple of RBIs 
for Rabarczyk as he heads into second base with a double. He's going to try for a triple. Helmets come off and slides into the bag with a two RBI triple for Vlad Rabarczyk. That'll put Bryan County up seven to nothing here in the second inning. Bottom of the second with nobody out. Nice hustle by Rabarczyk. Nice hit. A little wind aided there. A lot wind aided. Center fielder came in just a couple of steps, and that was enough for it to be way over his head. And everybody to be running. He's at third, nobody out. The batter, Maxwell, swing and a miss. Maxwell got a base on balls his last time up and scored. Here's the stretch and the 1 0 pitch. Ball two. Or I should say 0 1 pitch, and then it was 1 1 now. One ball, one strike. Hensey looks in, here's the pitch. Ball high. Two balls, one strike. Maxwell would like to get on in this hit run parade here himself today. A pitch. Ball high. 3 1. Here's the stretch in the pitch. Strike called. That'll make it a full count. NC in his second inning of work. Here's the stretch in the pitch. Foul off. Keeps him alive on the 3-2. Hensey checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Fouled off again. A little closer to Coach Hoots. Nice scoop and throw by Coach Hoots. We'll give him a 5 out of 5 on that. Got in front of the ball. Here's the st stretch in the 3-2 pitch again. Ball 4. Maxwell worked it out. The runners at the corners. First and third. Nobody out. That'll bring up Jack Buss. Here's Buss with the pitch. Strike called at the knees. Stretch, pitch, runner goes. In the dirt, no opportunity to throw. Stolen base by Maxwell. That'll make it second and third with nobody out with bus up. And a 1-1 one, one count. Maxwell with a big lead at second base. Nobody holding him on. Called strike as the curve ball gets across. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Reaches out for the curve ball. Shortstop comes in. That's Henling. He makes the catch. Nobody moves. That'll bring up Dylan Rice. Dylan Rice got a base hit. And uh, two RBIs the last time he was up. And then got forced out at second base. The stretch by Hensey, the pitch, strike called on the curveball. Stretch by Hensey, here's the pitch. Sticks his bat out there, it goes out to center fielder, the center fielder going back, back over his head. Uh, 
Uh, well, we're going to see how the official score does that, but I'm scoring out a hit because it was over his head. We'll call it win aided, whatever you want to make it. We'll give him that in an RBI. Girls games 11 to nothing. Brown County leads here. Did he get two RBIs on that? I believe he did. Eight, nine. Ended up at second base on the throw. So we'll give him two RBIs. Stretch by Hensey. And a pitch. As a bus, or I should say Sefton is up. Rice down at second base. And it looks like we got a 2-1 count. On the batter, Sefton. Next pitch. Out. Be 3-1. Girls game still 11 to nothing. Pitch. Ball low. Ball four. That'll put runners at first and second base. Cassing comes up. He got on with the fielder's choice and was stranded back in the first. Brown County on the verge of batting around again here in the second inning. Here's the pitch. Ball high. NC steps back on. Nobody holding the runner at first, so he's off about six or eight feet. Ball inside. Nope, called strike. I don't make a one ball, one strike, one out. The stretch in the pitch. Outside. Two balls, one strike. Take their top of the second inning, 11 to nothing over on the girls' game. Strike called, 2-2. Two -two. Pitch. Chili Dog goes down to third as the ball gets past the catcher. Chances are getting grimmer of us doing the Havana ball game tomorrow with the wind supposed to be higher than today. We'll take a look at the forecast and make a decision on that early. Ball four. Cassing's going to take the walk. Bases are loaded for Colin Dieterly as we batted around the second time. And coach is going to go out and talk to the pitcher. We're going to take a break here. At Land Guys, we specialize in recreational property because we speak the language. We connect sellers to the next generation of buyers who share a passion for land. At Land Guys, we provide industry leading marketing while ensuring a smooth and hassle free experience. We will make you the most money for your property. If you're in the market to sell, contact one of Illinois' top land brokers, Land Guys Toby Stay, at 217 257 6096. Larry Denning County has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Denning County, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400.
I have been interested in truck driving my whole life. I've been fascinated with the big rig since I was a kid. But after college, I got into business on the marketing side of things, kind of shelved the dream. 30 years later, I quit my job, signed up for truck driving school. It was exciting from the get-go. Dot recruited out of my truck driving school. The job was everything I was hoping it would be, and then some. My weeks absolutely fly by. When my life needed fulfillment, I took the wheel. Culbertson Memorial Hospital is more than just an emergency center for acute illnesses and trauma. From imaging and lab services to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, our team of providers is equipped to treat a wide variety of conditions in a convenient, local setting, so getting the outpatient care you need doesn't require a long trip out of town. Get quality care from the team that knows you best at Culbertson Memorial Hospital. Learn more at hospital.com. Los Rancheros Restaurant in Mount Sterling is your destination for authentic Mexican food. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Come and enjoy their daily specials on food and drink. Having a party? Check out Los Rancheros for catering your next event or gathering. Los Rancheros Authentic Mexican Restaurant, 408 Quincy Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-7800. Napa, no. Hello, Earl Flack. For your locally owned McKay Nap Auto Parts, it's March Savings, kind of like March Madness. Stop by any McKay Nap Auto Parts store and receive a Napa racing hat, Chase Elliott, with a $25 purchase while supplies last. Got batteries on sale, lawn and garden. Got marine batteries on sale, golf cart batteries on sale. Napa antifreeze, $9.99 for the Napa antifreeze. Get the good stuff. I also have shell antifreeze. I got Xerox antifreeze. Get the car supplies. Get it while it's hot. Thank you for your business. ADI, located in Golden, is one of North America's largest pattern tiling installers. We've helped farmers create water management systems for over 40 years with pattern tiling across farm... We'll be back with Time Will Tile as Dieterle steps in as the new pitcher. On the rubber will be Bowen Berry. And I'm trying to look to see... I think they just switched places is all they did. Here's the wind, the pitch. Inside, one and one. One ball, one strike. Got one out, bases loaded. Brown County leads nine to nothing here. Pitch, swing and a miss, makes it one and two. Wind the pitch by Barry. Long foul ball by Dieterle. Had had the distance to be out of here, but he was just a tad early. The wind couldn't blow that one back. Here's the wind, the pitch. Ball. That'll make it a 2 2 count. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the wind, the pitch, ground ball in between short and third. The third baseman makes the stop, but he's going to be late. That's going to be an infield hit for Colin Dieterle and an RBI. As uh, Dylan Rice comes across the plate, Sefton moves to third, Cassing moves to second, and Dieterle on first. That'll make it 10 to nothing. Here's the wind, the pitch. Strike call. Next pitch from Barry, the pitch. Strike two. Two ball, uh, no balls, two strikes on the batter, Henry. Wine by Barry. 
outside. Makes it one ball, two strikes. Next pitch was a ball, 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll be the second out of the inning. Brings up Matt Boylan. Matt Boylan has had a uh, base hit and two RBIs. Stole a base, scored, and walked and scored. First pitch to him is a ball. Next pitch, low. Ball two. Bases still loaded, two outs. New pitcher Bowen Berry, who was at first, comes in. Hence, he goes over to third, and Hazelwood moves over to first base. Next pitch is a strike. That makes it a two-ball, one-strike count to Matt Boylan. The wind and the pitch from the southpaw. Swing and a miss, way out in front of that. Head and the bat were out in front of that. Got to keep the head down on the ball if you want to. You cannot hit what you cannot see. The pitch. Fouled that one off. Keeps it 2-2. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases loaded. The pitch from... Barry, pop foul out of play. Keeps him alive, 2-2. Two, two. Are all way ahead of this batter. They need to step up in the box a little bit. Get down on the handle of that bat. Here's the pitch. Line drive to the shortstop. Makes the catch for the third out. But not, and we'll have the stats for you after these messages. Fields generating proven data showing a boost in yield and greater profitability. Changing weather patterns do not have to cost you yield dollars anymore. Start with a free estimate now by calling your local ABI representative, David Lohman, at 309-280-2411 or by visiting our website at agdrainage.com. The Brown County State Bank is proud to support all the Brown County Hornets athletic programs. In fact, we're the only bank offering the Hornet debit card. Every time the card is used at a point of sale, a portion of the proceeds are contributed to the Brown County School. It's our part of our commitment to making them the best they can be. Contact the Brown County State Bank today to get your Hornet debit card at 773-3327. Brown County State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Local, reliable broadband. You must be talking about CASCOM. I'm Casey French, and we provide amazing support for home and businesses. Internet, television, and phone. We have technicians in your area at all times, and you can actually talk to a local customer service representative. We know our area, and we know our customers. Get to know us. Call CASCOM today at 1-800-252-1799. CASCOM at 1-800-252-1799. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. Cast Communication Scoreboard shows Brown County 10 and North Green nothing as we head to the top of the third inning here of this contest. Kind of a cold day here. If I'd known it was this windy, we probably wouldn't be out here as we're trying to hold things down uh, here underneath of us. Brown County got five runs, three hits, no errors, and three left on base. First batter will be Caleb Williams, the DH for North Green. He will be the ninth batter, and everybody's batted now one time. Ground ball, foul, down the first baseline.
One ball, two, or two strikes on the batter. Here's the wind in the pitch, curveball strike. And a strikeout, that is number five for Maxwell on the day. That'll bring up the leadoff hitter, Ethan Clark, the catcher. That's from the left-hand side. The wind in the pitch by Maxwell. Ground ball, Boylan makes that, throws over to first. 4-3 on the out. Brings up Brody Barry, the second baseman. He grounded out to the pitcher. Back in the first inning. Two outs. No runners on base. Brown County leading 10 to nothing here on the top of the third. Ground ball. Boylan again, 4-3 on the out, makes it a no runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left inning as we head to the bottom of the third. It's Brown County 10 and North Green nothing. Brown County Accounting and Tax recently opened in Mount Sterling. The team brings over 30 years of experience and is ready to advise on taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. We are ready to meet with you with no obligation to discuss your tax saving strategy and have already helped many in the area. Contact us today at 217-770-8082. We're excited to be part of the community and are looking forward to helping you. LM Concrete Construction takes pride in providing quality concrete work to Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas, specializing in flat work, sidewalks, residential, new buildings, or add-ons, commercial and decorative concrete. Call Lorenzo Martinez for all your concrete needs at 779-279-4413. That's 779-279-4413. Hi, this is Brad Cassing here in Mount Sterling at Ray Insurance Agency. Uh, I want to thank you for supporting Brown County Athletics. I'd also like to mention that uh, you probably know that we are specialists in crop insurance, uh, hail insurance, and also any farm coverages that you might need. But what you probably don't know is we have very competitive rates on homes, autos, and commercial business. So I uh, thank you for supporting Brown County Sports and uh, look forward to hearing from you. My number is 217 773 3851. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. It looks like the girls score still 11 to nothing as they are in. Looks like the second inning over there, possibly. We'll check here and see if Lisa's up to date on that. And the score is 11 to nothing, top of the third inning over there for the girls. Miller going to come back, I mean, should Bowen Barry back out on the mound for North Green. Throw down as we get ready here. Brown County is batted around twice in two innings. First batter is going to be Vlad Ravarchek. He got on with an error and scored in the first. And in the third, I got to add that. That was a triple with two RBIs. That give him four hits in that last inning because I didn't have that marked. A triple and two RBIs for Ravarchek in that last inning. Brown County seems to be batting around. As we get ready, the catcher has got broken equipment. Got his mask fixed. They're ready to go. The pitch. Pop. 
Foul out of play. Bowenberry steps back on. Wind in the pitch. Ball low. 1-1. One, one. Barry steps back on. Rabarchek's ready. Here's the pitch. Base hit. Up the middle. Just over the shortstop. And Rabarchek gets his second hit of the night. That'll bring up Meyer Maxwell, the pitcher. Meyer came in with a 162 average and uh, has two base on ball, so he hadn't improved his average, but he scored twice. He stole the base. Bowenberry looks in. Here's the steps back off now. Barry was going to go out of the windup and realized he messed up. Here's the pitch. Maxwell drives it straight at the left fielder, but it's over his head. It's going to go to the fence. Rabarchek headed to third. Maxwell to second. They're going to go ahead and send Rabarchek in. And uh, he stopped for some unknown reason. And that's going to give him a double and an RBI for Maxwell. As Rabarchek scores, Maxwell gets a double, and that makes it 11 to nothing. And it looks like uh, Fullerton will be batting in place of Buss. Here's the wind and the pitch. In the dirt, Maxwell's going to head to third. The throw is late. And stolen base for Maxwell. Barry off the stretch. Fullerton up to bat. Here's the pitch. Ground ball back to Barry. He scoops it, checks the runner, throws to first. 1-3 on the out. And he gets Fullerton. That'll bring up Dylan Rice. Dylan Rice has got a base hit and two RBIs and a double and two RBIs. I would bring up the cycle, but him, that, Dylan getting a triple, that would be an act of God, I think. He could hit the home run. I'm, I'm sure about that. First pitch to him was a ball. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Chili Dog's been hot with the bat. He's two for two on the day. Came in with a 308 average, and that average just keeps climbing. He's got three ribbies on the day. Pokes it out into base hit. Three for three for the dog today. As Meyer Maxwell's going to score on that as Chili gets a base hit in an RBI. That brings up Connor Flynn, who will bat for Jack Sefton. That'll make it a 12 to nothing ball game. Flynn steps in from the left-hand side. He pitched a good game here on Tuesday. Basically, uh, I am trying to think if they scored. They might have scored a run. Maybe not. No, I think it was like a one-hitter. No runs, and they got one or two hits. The stretch. 
And the 1-0 pitch. Ground ball to the left side. Second baseman bobbles it, bobbles it again. Throws to first and gets the runner at first base. 4-3 on the out for the second out of the inning. That will move. That moved Rice down to second base. Had an opportunity for a double play there with the slower Rice as the lead runner, and they bobbled the ball too much. Raniel Sanchez will bat four. Cassing. Girls games 12 to nothing, by the way. They're in the bottom of the third. First pitch to Sanchez is a ball. Sanchez had a couple of good hits when I was at part of that JV contest after the varsity yesterday. Ball hit right at the second baseman. Scoops this time. Throws over 4-3. With that, Brown County gets only two runs on one, three hits, no errors, and one left on base. As we head to the top half of the fourth, it's Brown County 12 and North Green nothing. When it comes to your money, local is better. Farmers National Bank of Griggsville is here in the heart of the community, working where we live. We make sensible loans to our friends and neighbors so that we can help our community grow. Stop by and see our friendly staff and see what we can do to meet your financial goals. Located in Griggsville, Pittsfield, and Mount Sterling. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Mitsubishi Ductless Systems give you individual room control and allergen filtration with no ductwork, so you can be as comfortable as you want anywhere in your home. The Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling can help you design a Mitsubishi system for your new addition, remodeling project, or man cave or she shed. Call Scranton Heating and Cooling today to come and evaluate the best option available to you. The Comfort Man, 217-773-2626 or on the web at comfortman.com. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, so you know what that is. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. First three brought to you by Yingling Nissan Agency. It'll be Hazel Wonder, Hensey, and Hensline for North Green. Ball foul down the third baseline to start this fourth inning. Maxwell into his fourth inning of work. Cast communication scoreboard shows Brown County 12 and North Green nothing. Pitch. Hazel Wonder in the center field. Jack, oh, oh. <laughs> Jack Sefton came in a couple of steps, and I'm thinking, oh, that might be a mistake, and he reached up at the last second and caught that ball, and so it's an out. Jacoby Hensey, he uh, popped up to the second baseman his last time up. He started the game as the pitcher pitched two innings and then uh, Bowen Berry came in to pitch. First pitch, ball outside. Here's the pitch. Popped up, foul. Makes it 1-1. 15 to nothing over on the girls' side. Ball. Two balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. Ball in the dirt. Makes it 3 1. Next pitch. Ball four. 
He'll take his base. Trying to look here. That is the second walk that Maxwell's given up. He's got five strikeouts on the day. That'll bring up the batter, Peyton Henline. And he got caught looking his first time up back in the second inning. Girls are down 16 to nothing. I th they're in the third inning. Good lead by about six feet over first. They check him back in time. Here's the pitch. Ball high. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. How to make it two balls, one strike. Here comes a 2 1 from Maxwell. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 2 2. And everybody that uh, went did not hit that time re entered into the ball game to start the inning. Ball low and in the dirt. Jack got, bus got in front of that one. I don't make it 3-2, full count. Three, two count. Runner takes his lead at first. Maxwell checks him. Here's the pitch. Strike three called. Six strikeouts on the day. This will bring up Bradley Barfield. Barfield got on with an error by the second baseman. Uh, that was a pop fly that uh, popped in the infield that Boylan didn't catch, and there was nobody covering second base. First pitch is a strike to Barfield. Two outs. Top of the fourth. Pitch, curve ball, hit into left field. Cassing's going back, going back, going back. It's over his head as the wind carries that to the fence. And that's going to break the no hitter or the shutout as he gets into third base with a triple. Triple and an RBI for Barfield. That puts North Green on the scoreboard. Making a 12-1 contest. Bottom of third inning over there. Looks like 16 to nothing, maybe. I don't know. Yep. That'll bring up Bowen Berry, who came in the bottom of the uh, second inning. To pitch. Ball. Here's the stretch and the pitch. One ball, no strikes. Runner at third. Ball high inside. Two balls, no strikes. Tell you what, that sun goes down, it gets cold. The wind we've got, I don't know what the wind chill factor is. Ball gets away from bus. Here comes the runner from third. And he's safe. Ball four on the batter. Base on balls. A runner from third scores, making it a 12 2 ball game. Bus comes back. Two outs. 
This will bring up Preston Bradford. He struck out his first time up. Short lead at first by the runner Bone Berry. Here's the pitch. Ground ball back up the middle. Henry stops that one, tags the bag. What a grab by Henry. Six unassisted on the fielder's choice. Two runs on one hit. No errors. And one left on base. As we head to the uh, bottom half of the fourth, Brown County leads 12-10. Yingling and Nissan Insurance. Stop in and talk to one of our agents today about your insurance needs. We really appreciate the support of the community in our business for the last 40 some years. Come and see us if you have questions on, on your policy with us or if you want to quote and you're with someone else now, we'd be happy to work with you. If Yingling and Nissan Agency a call at 217-773-3397. Go Hornets! Banks are involved in every aspect of our daily lives. They support a state bank and trust company of Mount Sterling. Locally owned, locally operated, locally dedicated. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. We get ready for the bottom of the fourth. It's Brown County 12 and North Green 2 on the Cast Communication scoreboard here in the bottom of the fourth inning. As uh, I think the wind's affecting the camera over on the girls' side and some of the equipment over there. And it'll bring up Dieterly to start things out. His third time up. It, their fourth time up, he's got a double, a strikeout, and a base hit with one RBI. Pops that one up, high in the air, shortstop, Henline gets it, and that'll be the first out. That'll bring up Maverick Henry. Maverick Henry got on with an error in the first and scored, and then he got on a double, scored, and he struck out his last time up. Here's the wind and the pitch. One for three on the day. Pitch. Base hit. That'll make him two for four on the day. Left fielder gets over. Bradford gets it back in. Holds him to that single. One out. Runner at first base. Brings up Matt Boylan. Boylan at a, let's see, base hit, two RBI, stole the base in the first. In the second, he had a base on balls and scored. And in the third, or in the second also, he uh, popped out to the shortstop. Fouled off his first pitch, strike one. Here's the stretch pitch, ball low, makes it a 1-1 one -one count. Popped up foul. One and two.
Barry has the stretch, the left-hander, good lead, about six-footer. They check him at first base on Henry. You know, get a good lead and take off if it's available. Good six, seven feet there. Here's the pitch. Base hit for Boylan into center field. Going to hold him to a single. Boylan two for three today. That moves Henry down to second base and Vlad Rabarchek up. Rabarchek with an error on the shortstop. Got it on and scored. Triple and two RBIs in the second. And in the third, got a base hit and scored. Two for three on the day. Ball low. Ball gets away from the catcher, but Henry stays. Sixteen to two over there. The girls have scored their two runs. That's I think they've got three games of two runs that they have scored over on the girls' side. Rabarchek hits the ball deep. That's getting length, and that is out of here. Three RBI home run by Vlad Rabarchek. Makes it a 15-2 ball game on that CAS communication scoreboard. Better grab them today, boys. That ain't going out on a regular day. But guess what? In the book, it doesn't say it was windy. It just says home run. That'll bring up Maxwell. Maxwell's had a Two base on balls and scored on both of those, stole a base, and then got a double, scored a base, and got an RBI. So he scored three times today, has an RBI and a stolen base. 1-1 one, one count to him. Barry works out of the windup now. Here's the pitch, outside for a ball. Two balls, one strike. Here's the wind, the pitch. Get ball, 3-1. 15-2 on the cast communication scoreboard here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Pitch, ball. Another walk for... Maxwell. I have a runner for him. I didn't see who the runner is. Where is? No, he's going to run for himself. Stretch. The pitch. Inside the bus for a ball. Or a called strike, excuse me. Stretch by Barry. Here's the pitch. Popped up. That's going to be a base hit, I think, into center field. They try to throw him out at second base. He's in there. Ball gets away, but nobody's going anywhere. Base hit for Jack Buss. That moved Maxwell down to second base. And going to bring up Micah Henry to bat for Dylan Rice. Girls game 16 to 3 as they get a new high for Brown County this season and run scored with three. Pinch runner for Bus. And that will be
Out into right center field. That's going to go to the fence. Micah Henry making his way to second base. He's going to get at least one RBI. Runner was Sterling Lynn over. And all I had to do was look at my board probably. And that's going to be, I'm going to call that an RBI double for Micah Henry. Scoring That'll make it 16 to 2. Here's the stretch. The pitch. Ball. One ball, one strike. Trying to look who the batter is. Jack Sefton. Sefton today has uh, struck out and had a base on balls. Ball high. Just one out here, 3-1 count on Sefton. Runners at second and third. Ball in the dirt. Base on balls. Juan Cassing back to, to run here or to hit with bases loaded. Cassing today. Fielder's choice stranded. Base on balls stranded. The wind in the pitch. Ball outside. Brown County has batted around and just one out here. Base hit's going to score a couple. Ball. Next pitch. Fly ball into center field. Center fielder gets it. And the tag by Lynn over at third. Now that's going to be a sacrifice and an RBI. And that's going to be the end of the ball game as Brown County wins 17 to 2. Post game brought to you by your Mount Sterling Fruits, 200 Pittsfield Road. They had uh, fried chicken today and chicken pot pie, I think it was, for their lunch special today. Check out the daily lunch specials on their Facebook page. Or give them a call, 217-773-2213. They're 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling. And player of the ballgame will be brought to you by KLC Inc. Offering screen printing, embroidery, custom team apparel, and promotional products. KLC Inc., 509 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-9090. KLC Inc., you think it, we ink it. And uh, Brown County, i got to add this up. One, two, three, four... Five hits, no errors, and I'm going to say two left on base. Okay, this is what the stats look like. Two runs for North Green on one hit, one Brown County error, and three left on base for Brown County. 17 runs, 1, 7, 10, 15 hits, three errors by North Green. And Brown County left seven, eight runners on base. Player of the ball game, going to give it to uh, Vlad Ravarchek with the home run. He had a total of uh, five RBIs today. A uh, home run, a triple, a single, missed a double of doing the cycle. So we're going to give it to him, and we're going to also give it to uh, uh, Maxwell. Uh, great job pitching today. Had, uh, let's see, six strikeouts, two walks. And uh, had a great game today. With that, we're going to call it quits here. 
But I want to thank you for watching and listening to BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more.